monkey is sometimes, but I did not come from no monkey. Amen. I came from the good Lord. He spoke breath into my life. He took me for clay and he, he made me. But he made us to worship. And this morning, it is so easy to get caught up in worshiping something else. Because we were made to worship. But if we're not worshiping Him first, then it's not going to go very well for our lives. Been there, done that, and bought the t-shirt. How about y'all? Amen. Amen. You know what? That's the reason why it's so easy for us as humans to get caught up. In, and I mean, even this, this biggest loser, that's a great thing. It's a great thing to, to, to help us to be more uh, healthy and, and get the weight off that we should have on. But if we don't watch out, we start worshiping the weight loss and start worshiping ourselves. Yeah. It's so easy to have a Harley in the yard and, or in the garage and you, you worship that Harley more than you do anything else. Or you always wanted that Corvette or that or, uh, Corvair. <laughs> Anybody ever have a Corvair in their life? <laughs> Y'all know what a Corvair is? Or am I not the oldest person in here? Amen. It's an old car is what it is. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, I appreciate that. In the back, you let me know you understood that. But if we don't watch out, we can even let our spouse, our girlfriend, our boyfriend, drugs, alcohol, sex, anything come into our lives and we can worship it, even our children, more than we do God. And when we do that, our balance of our life is off and, and it's not going to go very well for us. But if we put him back where he's supposed to be, first in our lives, then everything else takes care of itself. His word says, seek me and my kingdom first and then everything will be added to you. What he said, seek me first and I'll take care of your home, I'll take care of your food, I'll take care of you. But you put me first. Is that always easy? No, it's not. But we have services like this morning to say, here I am to worship you. Father Lord, I'm sorry for the things that I have put before you just even this week. But I'm here this morning to put it all back into perspective. And I'm here to say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I've done this last week and this last year. But I want to make it right this morning. And it has to be between nobody else but you and your Heavenly Father. And you're, if you're standing here and saying, you know what, I've never really put him first. So I really don't understand what you're talking about. Give him the month of February and put him first and see what he'll do. If he don't do nothing for you, then go back to whatever you were worshiping first. Some of you say, well, that's a pretty bold statement. That's how much I know that God intervenes. Amen. I know that's how much he changes lives. Amen. I can guarantee you if he didn't, I would be sitting where I am today. Amen. The Lord is good. So you know what? Let us sing this song again. And don't worry about anybody next to you. Don't worry that today is Super Bowl Sunday. Whoever's going to win is going to win. It doesn't matter if you root for them or not. Amen. It could be the Colts or it could be the Saints. And Pastor and I were torn because we like both of those teams. So whoever wins, we're going to be happy. Isn't that a good thing? So this morning, you know what? Let us get our, our lives back into perspective, our hearts back into perspective. Because it's so easy for every one of us, and I don't care what title hangs over your head. Even as pastors, we have to say, Lord, forgive us for getting out of, out of line. And let us put you back where you belong. So this morning, let me tell you something. Your pastors are doing the same thing as you were doing this morning. Amen. Oh, 